I I peep. We, we going to. I'm on live, so don't say nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get on there now. So I know I, 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 I got to be, I, I be good. Don't say nothing good. crazy. Because so, we, we got, you know, people are looking. I got to get everybody, you know, I got to get folks the heads up. Because I don't want to be mm. on the, no, mm. I'm sorry. That's not, that wasn't supposed to go there. Yeah. Yeah, you All right. Uh-oh. You want a bottle? Yeah, that would work. Oh, you can put it behind that one or two to give it that extra oil. Uh, that extra oomph. Hey, y'all. Trying to get this everywhere. I've been learning my little tricks of the trade with all of this. As soon as it starts sharing to all the pages, mm -hmm. everybody watching simultaneously. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Yep. Yep. Yeah. I'm afraid I'll sound a bit. Those up there. Right, I guess those are up there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Thursday. Two. Two. Yeah. Yeah, it's the intro. Boom. It's all good. I meant to tell you. <laughs> My bad. I didn't know there was an intro. Okay. Where at? It's oh. sitting on the desktop. Oh, okay. Should say fluent or above fluent. Fluent radio. Yeah. Let's say intro. Fluent or above fluent intro, yeah. Look, I'm trying not to say. Yeah, I'm gonna broke hey, out. Hey, this hey, takes me it. back. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> it takes me back. My bad. Hold on. I will come and come and come a chameleon all day long. Yeah. You want you a pork pill? <sighs> oh, sure. Maybe that. Thank you. Help mm -hmm. me get my life back together. Oh, this is the, the good water. Yes. There we go. Mr. Fluent out here with the bling. A little bit. <laughs> out here with the bit. bling. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little, a little bit. bit. I should have brought the bit. sunglasses <laughs> in there. You shining. Hey, sun, I like you don't want to come out today. Mm. So I got I to I got, I got take things in my own hands. You should have <laughs> witnessed that brisk walk I had when I was going in the building this morning. I'm trying to tell you. At Denzel Training Day walk, I got someone to be walk. <laughs> Intentional yeah, head gotta, down focus. Yeah, gotta go for that hook hit me in that, on that neck area. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and it was so funny because I was walking in with my company uh, president. I couldn't even speak. Okay. Turn the mic in three, two, one. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in here at eighty nine point nine. FM here at Fluent Radio. I am your host, Mr. Fluent himself. And yeah, I am doing great. Thank you so much for asking. We are back here with another Thursday and some more heat to give y'all. Even though it's cold, you don't know what outside. It ain't cold. It ain't that cold, but it's cold. It's cold. Hit that neck area. You know, hit that neck area. 
Um, <laughs> I'm trying, I forgot what Jordans I got on today, but, you know, I think they're, they're nines. I got my nines on today, my black and white nines on today. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm still with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have still, nothing to say. I have <laughs> nothing to say. <laughs> I'm still with it. Um, and, y'all, we have a very, very, very special guest today. Um, she has been on here uh, before, and we cut up then. And, uh, yeah, we're going to cut up now today, too. <laughs> yes, ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed but the weather. Okay, well, okay, what's going on? Okay, we have the very lovely Miss Catherine McNeil. How you doing? I'm good. I can't complain. I don't uh, I don't have on any nines. You ain't got on that? No, right? I ain't, I ain't no, got no, on no, nines. You, you, you straight from the corporate. Yeah, straight from corporate, I'm straight like. from the office. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, you straight from me. I got on the young heel. Um... We don't need to explain which one that is, but, you yeah. know, that's how we going today. <laughs> that's definitely, what's definitely. happening. So, how, how was your day? You want the real answer? Yeah, yeah, the real, the real answer. I want you, I want your day to tell me how your week has been going. Um, so, the day has been. Okay, it's been. Okay. That's it. Okay, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Been. It's been. It's been. Um, it's almost weekend. But I made it. And yes, yeah. we are um, less than 24 hours away from the weekend. And yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And your week? My week, um, been a lot of awkward energy mm -hmm. this week. I literally just posted about this. I don't know what it is in the air. Um, maybe it's the shift in other seasons. But it, it's, it's been some awkward energy, but some good news, too. So. Definitely, yeah. I, yeah, I've been seeing you on, on, on the book. Yeah, you got some good news. Good news for from all in. You know, because when we had a meeting last time, you was like, oh, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. And now, now stuff is over. <laughs> the seeds have parted. Sun shining a little bit. I was like, okay, cool, okay, cool. Uh, see, see? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, so for everybody who missed our first interview, I need you to explain every to everyone and new listeners what you do and how you get out. Okay, so um, Catherine McNeil, founder of CHBM Services, um, it's a series of businesses. My uh, for-profit deals with um, career development, mm -hmm. um, coaching. I do not do resumes anymore or cover letters, but I still do um, career coaching and LinkedIn profiles. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, I have my L3C. So for those who are unfamiliar with that, that is a hybrid between a not-for-profit and a for-profit. Um, with that, I host career development events for single mothers, um, all types of topics, nothing is off limits. And then I have a not-for-profit, uh, Single Mothers Navigating Parenting Careers Entrepreneurship Incorporated. Mm -hmm. Hashtag SMNPCE Inc. because that title is long. Um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> um, but with that, I um, provide career development support. More importantly, we are working on um, fundraising so that we can give out scholarships to single mothers who want to return to college or trade school. Um, we want to help um, single moms pay for high school college application fees for their children and also to um, help pay for um, student fees for high school students. And then I'm an author of two books that are available on Amazon. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all, she ain't, and the one title she left out, y'all, y'all ain't see those model pictures she took on, on, on Facebook? <laughs> Whatever. She was a model person. She just left out model. <laughs> mm -mm. Look, if you want people to buy into the brand, they, yes, yes, you have yes. to look like you have some sense. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's let, what that is. Let me stop because if I tell people you're a model, people be y'all in your inbox. You I'm not single. <laughs> tell them. I'm not single. Tell them, no, no, yeah. No. Nope, I'm unmarried, but yeah. I'm not single. Yeah, so, I don't yeah. want them problems, mm -mm. whoever you is. Mm -mm. We don't want those problems. No, okay? we don't need that <laughs> smoke. We, we don't need that smoke. What T.I. is. Mm -mm. <laughs> what T.I. is. Okay, so so basically, you do it all as far as career. Like, it's, I guess the the, the property, it's impossible when they when people link up with you, it's impossible, like, to fail. Because you, you're like, you have, you do it all from high school, everything. So I'm not going to go that far mm -hmm. um, because I don't take credit for anything. Mm -hmm. um, for an individual to be successful, like they're only as successful as the effort that they put in. Mm -hmm. So I can, you know, help you figure it out or I could draw the blueprint for you, which I won't. I won't do that. Um, but I'll help you figure it out. But you have to do the work. Right. So yeah. if you're willing to do the work, then I'll say like there is absolutely no way for you to be able to fail. Right. Right. Definitely. And, and, and you say you help single mothers as well. Yep. Um, so, so how is, 
by you being a mother yourself, how has that process, that whole process been as far as, I'm sure you've had your ups and you've had your downs as far as helping single mothers? Um, so there's still ups and downs because mm-hmm. um, I don't really believe that you ever really make it. Right. Um, you know, the whole new levels, new devils type thing is um, is very true. And then, of course, you have to be a different type of parent every stage um, of your kids' lives. Like, so my oldest is, uh, she'll be 20 in April. Mm-hmm. My middle baby just turned 17. And then my son is, is four. So on any given day, I'm three different people. Because right, right. they're all in three different stages of life. And and then um, I have what I have going on. I work in corporate America. I have my businesses. Um, and somewhere in there, there's a social life. And then I have my family. So it's, um, there is no such thing as like work-life balance. Because right. it's. At any given time, something will pull you further in one of the directions. However, it's possible to do it all. Right. It it really is. So so sometimes it it can be more trying in one area than it is something else. And then you have to give like 110% over here. And then by the time you finish with this, it's like you you kind of spent. Yeah. But you have to keep, got to keep moving and things like that. Yeah, that's dope. That's 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 real dope. It, it, it is a pleasure just even you just have have you on Flow Radio. I forgot how do we? Oh yeah, Sandra introduced us. We uh-huh. seen that Jay's thing. Yep. 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 We were sitting. Yeah, we were sitting right next to her. <laughs> she was coming on the show in like two weeks, sitting right next to her. <laughs> then you know it's her. And then Sandra's like, I <laughs> look. Yeah, I think that's. No, hold on, hold on. Let me go. Let me go. Let me look at this profile hold picture. On, hold on. <laughs> yeah. That's her. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's her. Definitely, definitely. Now, so, so, you, so, author of two books. Mm-hmm. All right. So, what are those two books? Um, Parenting is a love hate relationship, mm-hmm. and um, <laughs> and um, <laughs> a mother's love. Thirty one days no, of affirmations so for single <laughs> mothers. <laughs> Sorry, that caught me off guard. The other one is a mother's love. Thirty one days of affirmations for single moms. Okay, so. Not to put you on spot. What is your okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know me. You know me. I go left real quick. It's fine. Okay, so now parenting mm-hmm. is is challenging. Of course, yes. Because there's these are always there's always sometimes you get to you, sometimes you get where people are. Uh, they can agree. Yep. In a perfect world. Right. In a yeah. perfect world. In a perfect world. But yeah. then again, that, that, but you also get that that mm-hmm. that. that like you, nin, nin, let me tell you something, Ninja. Let me tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> just won't. You just won't. No act right at all. No matter what I do. No matter how. No matter how I turn it. You still think that puzzle piece fits right there, and it don't. <laughs> That's an end. Why are you trying to put it in the center? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And these are the posts that we see on social media all the time, right? Yeah. <laughs> these are the posts we yeah, see on social yeah, media. Yeah. All yeah. Time. yeah. You, like. <laughs> Like just like like cause I, I I go through my fair share. It's like cause no matter how no matter how you try to give and give, and sometimes you gotta stop and mm-hmm. say, you know what? It's been a few times. Like I, I told you about it. I said it's been a few times. Uh, I had to kind of stop myself. I was like, because you no, know, the social media world don't need to hear about absolutely all this extra stuff. You know absolutely. So, what do you think is? What do you think is is the biggest thing when it comes to like constructive parenting? So it's kind of twofold. Hold on, hold on. Where the bell? Just in case you curse. <laughs> I'm not gonna curse. <laughs> I've been on the radio enough times, <laughs> so I'm not gonna curse. Um, but so my honest opinion, you can only be as mature as the next person. That there's a caveat to that. Right. So, right. so let me explain myself. Um, at no point in time do I suggest that you stoop to the other person's level if, you know, it's a lot of drama attached. And the, the first thing that comes to mind is this video that's trending about the young man who couldn't bury his daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I didn't watch it because that type of stuff kind of triggers me. Mm-hmm. Um, but from what I gathered, because I always read the comments first, he was trying mm-hmm. To bury his child and was being prohibited from being able to bury his child because of the drama between him and and the mother. And from what it looks like, it was the mother who was the one that was causing the problems. Mm -hmm. So in a situation like that, I mean, you can only put forth so much effort to be um, to cordial to be cordial and co-parent. 
Right. And then you have to understand that you have to stop trying. If your kids are at a place where you can just communicate with your children, right. then that is, that's what you do. Um, if that's not the case, then you, you have to get third parties involved. And that's either legally or you um, appoint a mediator. Mm-hmm. Maybe all contact goes through, you know, grandma or um, a, a sibling or, or something along those lines. But I am, I am an avid supporter of keeping yourself out of sticky situations because no one wins and the kids don't need to see all the drama. Right, right, right. So that's... That's the caveat, but under normal circumstances, there's really nothing that should come before the children. You guys should be able to be adult enough to work together to be able to get done what needs to get done. Because I have two different situations. So my oldest two girls are from one relationship, and then my son is from another. I don't deal with their dad Mm -hmm. at all. It's not good for my health or my mental stability. Um, Pills. And, I mean, like... And, and and I had to get to a point like I the relationship in any way shape fashion or form was unhealthy for both of us. Mm-hmm. So we're not gonna do this. My girls are older though. My girls can manage this. They can get where they need to go. They can do what they need to do. They have their own phone lines. There's really no reason for me to have to be involved. Right. Um, and that's what works with my son's father. Regardless of whatever we go through, my son comes first. Right. Now, we're still together, so it doesn't really matter. But mm-hmm. we've been through, I mean, seven years. Like, we've been through um, our share of interesting situations. And at the end of the day, it's about that little boy. Right. So nothing comes before that little boy. Right. So it just really depends on the two parties involved and um, a lot of self-awareness. And I'm not going to jail for anyone, so I won't be around anybody. Just don't trigger me to the point where I'm catching time. It's just and, not going to happen. And that's what... That's what even even in my, you know, I don't even go say too much about my situation. I, I told you a little bit about it. It's, it's that see see people that you used to be with or whatever the case is, kids, whatever. Like that person knows like a trigger. Oh yeah. That person knows like, yeah. They may they may say something, and 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 you you spend a lot of time just working on you. It may not affect you, right then and there, but if the person says it enough. The, the many times that you do see the person, it, you know, I don't know how they really explain it, but like I took a, t- a lot of time just working on me, right? And even with, even with my mother's child, uh, my mother's, uh, I'm sorry, my kid's mother, um, there are certain things she can do to trigger me. Mm-hmm. But I spent so much time working on that, I'm just kind of like, now when you do it, I'm just kind of like, oh, 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 word? And then, you know, and then the more and more and more and more, it makes them angry. The more and more it oh, absolutely. affects you. Absolutely. But it still kind of affects you a little bit is because, like, it, it could be nothing. It, that could be just do something just real small one day. And you might not do it there, but then you'll go home and you just, just be cursing everybody out. You know what I'm saying? But that's where the self-awareness comes in. Because mm-hmm. you have to be honest with yourself um, to a point of why do I eat? Like, if I know that this person intentionally does these things, mm-hmm. why do I let them bother me? Right. If it's maybe, you know, subjects that are so sensitive that you can't help but mm. be bothered by it, you have to stop communicating with that person. Right. Like, that's where the mediation comes in because at the, nothing is worth my peace. Exactly. Period. Like, that's non-negotiable. So I don't care who it is, what it is, how it is. Like, absolutely nothing is worth my peace. So at this point in life, I'm good with the, I tried. Yeah. Good luck and God bless. Uh, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm just going to stay away from you. Outside yeah. of something happening to my kids, I'm not going there. Mm-hmm. I'm not going there. And um, I have a very transparent relationship with my children. Mm-hmm. So they get it. Um, they understand. Now, you know, when graduations and things along those lines come up, everybody can be in the same room with no issue. Because at the end of the day, I'm an adult. Mm-hmm. Um, I might not sit by you. But this is about the kids. So, you know, for that hour, two hours, or whatever the case may be to get to a graduation ceremony, something along those lines, sure, we will be one big happy family. That, 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 I think that's, that's where I'm at. <clears throat> now I'm just kind of like, yeah, we can be in the same room. We can, you know, you because know, I'm all about, like, my babies. I'm all about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, like but me and you, that, that's like trying to wash a greasy pan with no soap. And you don't Just, have to have a relationship you know, to be a good parent. Everybody right. has to do what they're supposed to do for their children 
and in tandem avoid the conversations about the other parent with the kids. Right, because it's not about it's not because that's you the flip about, side yeah. of it. Yeah, it's not about how you feel about me or how I feel about you. It's about our, our offsprings. It's about the kids. It's about us. It's about the babies at the end of the day. Because, um, yeah, because. I think parenting also plays a role in how you were raised. It um, does. It, it plays a big role because, like, she was raised on conditional love. I was raised on unconditional love. So, that all the time. Because you, because the way you see stuff and the way I see stuff are, are different. You know what I'm saying? My mama had, a, my, my mama, you know, she, she raised us different. My, my father, all it, like, I, I was just blessed with. Mother, a stepmother, and, and, and two fathers. Right. Both blessed like that. So I've seen it from all sides. Right. So um, so when I get married, I'm I'm, I'm good. <laughs> she ain't going nowhere. Right. Because I done seen, I done, my, my aunties, I done seen it all. Right. And so now I know what, okay, I'm going to avoid that. 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 Because divorce ain't in it. No, that, that's not happening. So, but I've seen it. And so now I'm just kind of like, yeah, th- that unconditional love, I had no choice but to, you know, but hers was more conditional. It's like, you know, it's based off of money and it's And and see you know, and, and it, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard because like, you know, being in two different states, so it's harder. You know what I'm mm. saying? It's very, very hard. But I do want to give you a high five. Hold on. High five because you 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 asked me to turn me on to somebody. I, I put a post out there. I don't wanna say it because you know right. I blow my spot. But you you put something out there. I jumped on it. And we are in talks right now. Awesome. I think you know what I'm talking about. I do about. know what you're talking about. We're in talks right now. <laughs> I do know what you're we're talking about. We're in talks. So in about a month, it's going to be on. It's going to be on. All right. Good. So let's change the gears. What do you think about women proposing to men? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you... Uh, hey. Yeah, I'll see my face. Yeah. What do you think about women... I'm talking about getting down on one knee the whole nine. Now you my oh, Facebook nah. friend, so you know better. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Use it, boy. Hey, Catherine goes in. Let me tell you something, y'all. Let me tell you something about Catherine. She goes in in an intellectual, very businesslike way. No curse words, but she goes in. I be cursing she, behind them posts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's thinking like all this stuff, but by the time it comes and it gets to her fingers, it's like, boy, she using every word in the dictionary, including Z and X. Okay. <laughs> Z and X. What do you think? I already know. I already know the answer to this question because I, I see it on Facebook all the time. Sorry. So this is going to be a great way to get all the people out to the Mother's Day events and stuff, yeah, right? Because yeah, they're exactly. going to be trying to uh-huh, lynch me yeah. behind this one. Uh-huh. Um, so we're not doing that. <laughs> so we're gonna leave that in the 20 teens how about that um you're right you're right now truth be told to each his own if if that works in your relationship um you can still look yourself in the mirror that man still respects you and um you're not taking care of him then good luck and god bless mm. it's not for me mm-hmm. um i'm not doing it um i'm not considering doing it Mm -hmm. i'm not upgrading my own Mm -hmm. ring Mm -hmm. i'm not buying my own Mm -hmm. ring um no (laughs) (laughs) No. i am um so i am i'm i'm old school with reason how about that Mm -hmm. so you know i am i am an advocate you know of the man being the head of the house, Old what school. that looks like is mm-hmm. different for every household because the reality of situations is that in a lot of cases nowadays, women financially are outperforming men. So that kind of shifts the financial aspect of it. Does that take away from him being able to still be a provider, him still being that support, him still being that protection? Um, it does not. But each household is different. Some women have an issue with being able to respect a man that doesn't make as much or more than them. Okay. Mm-hmm. If it's about my, I mean, it just is what it is. It's it's about the individuals involved. So whatever works for you, I'm rocking with it. Mm-hmm. However, at the end of the day, <laughs> I will not be getting down on any knees <laughs> and proposing to anyone in any way, shape, fashion, or form. Um, nope. Mm-mm. 
I just, I, Dead. it, it, it kind of upsets the natural order of things, and more so from a place of, if men are naturally the hunters, and it's in your DNA to, um, to, to, to chase and acquire. I've never seen in the jungle or um, in anything on like what is it the Animal Channel or Lifetime, Lifetime or any of those where Channel, like any anyone wanted anything that just laid down and died. Like mm-hmm. it was the, the, there was mm-hmm. <laughs> there was nothing compelling mm-hmm. about any cheetah, kangaroo, whatever the case may be. Even in the old caveman days, like. They bopped the women over the head. With, I mean, that was aggressive. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they bopped the women. Oh, they went out and caught the women and they brought them back. Like, this is my prize. Mm-hmm. How are you the prize when you're like, you, you've wrapped yourself and delivered yourself? Right, right. I don't, I. Yeah. It don't work for me. Yeah. It, it don't it, work it, for me. You know, my because my house, I was going to, it, it, it's going you know, my uh, mine may be a little different from everybody's. Mine, you know, it's gonna be the husband, it's gonna be the wife, kids. Ooh, ooh wham, wham, wham. We are gonna be a team because nowadays, you know, you gotta pay for air, you gotta pay for water, you gotta pay for all these things, and and rent ain't rent. Rent is as much as rent is. You might as well have a mortgage somewhere. You might as well have a mortgage somewhere, and we gonna have all these things and some and, and some great Kool Aid in the house. I'm not saying uh-huh, nothing things. about the whole mortgage versus no. rent thing because 98% of my um, friends list is real estate agents and mm-hmm. I, I don't need those type of conversations in my life. <laughs> um, I will be buying property. Okay? Yes. I don't yes. need no inboxes. Yeah, I'm buying. Right. That's what we're doing. We are preparing to make purchases around here. Yeah, because so. like, I would say 15 years ago, it probably being a little different than, than it, it was cool to rent because rent wasn't, it wasn't that high. Yeah, I was like, man, you get your, if you, if, because we were looking, or even before when we, we started looking for stations, or we would have station stuff, man, we looking at some of this stuff, looking at lofts, looking at all these things. You know, there are some places that are like four or $5,000 mm-hmm. a month, but that's obviously going downtown somewhere, and you, whatever the case is, but they're like, it's, and it's crazy. Like, it's like, man, I might, I could have, you know how much I wear, man. Yeah. Like, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's crazy. That's why, you know, like, you got to market down. I'm like, well, we think it's equity in this mug. Yeah, like I mean, yeah. I can see it from from both sides. To be perfectly mm-hmm. honest, and I have been on both sides um, mm-hmm. because you know I'm an advocate of the breaking of the generational curses. I jumped right. out there um, when I was 24 and purchased my first piece of property, mm-hmm. and um, you know thought it was a good way to go because I worked in real estate. Um, so you know, like I could go through a contract backwards and forwards. However, I had never been on my own. Right. So for me, I mean, I did it. I maintained it up until my variable rate kicked in. Cause I had had like a two year fixed loan or something. Right. Um, my variable rate kicked in and I lost my job. Right. So I ended up walking away. Like from the property, because again, that peace of mind thing is most important. But y'all can take this chapter seven, me. chapter seven, me. Um, so at that point, I'm just gonna say, like, I, I wasn't ready because I feel like I, sh- I should have been prepared for anything that came my way, and I wasn't. Um, and I've lived different places, I've um paid rent that didn't have commas in it, I pay rent that has a comma in it. Mm-hmm. Um, and for me now. When I'm like where I live now, I've been there. I'm going into my sixth year. Mm -hmm. That is the longest that I have ever stayed in in one place. And you know, when you purchase property, like you have to be prepared to stay there for like 30 years. Mm -hmm. But I didn't grow up like that. Like we moved like every two years. So I didn't know anything about putting down roots and, you know, like being consistent in that one place of living. And, you know, that tied into other stuff, too. But just from a home standpoint, like, Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about that. So that's a part of the reason why I've been kind of hesitant in getting out there and buying something because I've never been in one place for that long. Right. So, um, like, it's a commitment. That is for, like, 30 years to sign Mm -hmm. your name on something. That is a lifelong commitment, and you have to be ready. I get a kick out of if my refrigerator goes out, my washer and dryer needs to be serviced, Hey. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. How you doing? I need y'all to slide through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, I know it's 10 feet of snow. But yeah, you know. like, come on, fix that. <laughs> you know, like, heating, a filter needs to be, because I'm petty, because for the amount of rent that I pay, mm-hmm. I'm not 
you changing a light bulb. You hear me? Um, and when you own, you are responsible for all of that, Mm -hmm. like all of it. So you just got to be ready. Like, and, and there are steps that you can take to make sure that you're ready. Um, but you you got to be ready and don't let these people bully you in the thinking that mm-hmm. because you rent you retarded or something like that's not how that goes. It's just like and and, and that and that segues into like you know purchasing your first vehicle and it also segues into like like you said about, about breaking generational curses because like I can say um, I'm not gonna say everybody but like growing up like I wasn't taught about credit. Oh no, black folks look we not taught. Like, we don't worry about that stuff. That was not a conversation to, around the dinner table. It wasn't. It was it, it, like like seriously. I mean, it, it it just wasn't one of those things. Like you know, make sure your credit is this. Make sure your credit is that. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really start. I, you know what? At forty, no, at thirty nine, I got my first credit card. Mm. Cause I wasn't. You going. paid everything in cash. Yep. Up until thirty nine. I, I, yeah, I wasn't going. Like I Ooh, wasn't. I got so many questions. Going. <laughs> <laughs> so many questions. Feel free to ask. I'm an open book. So many questions. Because because I I personally I wasn't going because I was, you know I did my high school thing. High school didn't work out because I had my first child. Mm. Um, that didn't work out, and I went to Job Corps. From Job Corps, I went to Denver, Colorado. Finished school. I got my uh, angle front. I got my GED. Um, and let me tell y'all. For those that want to like not go to high school, like GED is the hardest. Yeah, of, and they've changed it in yeah. the last couple of years, and now they've made it almost impossible for you to be able to pass. Because when used I did get, it, you used to have options. It was trigonometry, and you had to write essays and all kinds of stuff. So from there, um, I went to I went to college, um, and just based off of this test I took, you know, criminal justice mm-hmm. was. Law enforcement was my my field. Okay, cool. Yeah, because yeah. you got the good good job well, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So now it's like grade point average, and, and that's nothing. They don't teach you about grade point averages either. Nope. Because if you if you, you got mean, that cumulative 4. grade 0, point averages, yeah, yeah. yeah, you got that four point The moment you get that first B, that mug will dip. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like credit. It's just, that, that mug will dip, and it's hard to get it back. There, up there is okay, a correlation between grades and credit. Yes, it is. So I, so you know, I, you know, everything was. I got my first credit card when I moved here. Mm. I stayed a year. I know that I was here for a year because I was mad and all kinds of stuff. That's a different story. <laughs> but, for sure. um, but I got my first credit card. It was Capital One. I got two credit cards. I got a Quicksilver and I got a, a Platinum. Mm-hmm. First credit cards ever. 39, first one. And I was like. Now, okay. you, you, you saw my post that my baby just got her first car. Really? All her. Mm-hmm. No co-signer. Mm-hmm. No nothing. That's dope. We don't play them games in my house. Yeah, that's dope. Like, you know, because I had to live like that. I had to live like, you know, live with no co-signer or just, or just buy a car outright. Because like I said, they don't teach those things. When I was coming up, like, I didn't hear nothing about it. You know, you heard about it, but it wasn't one of those things you had to just keep up with. I, I asked my daddy um, recently. Cause you know, like we 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 make the joke that my dad is like a black Jew, cause he's really good with money, mm-hmm. um, and he always has been. And I was like, why did we never have this conversation, mm-hmm. like ever? Cause I had to figure this stuff out on my own. Too, yeah. Um, and I know enough to be dangerous now, but you know, like, did I really have to go through all of that? Mm-hmm. So it's like. I refuse to do that to my children. Right. You know, as soon as they turn 16, um, they get their first bank account. We're still working on that saving aspect of it. Mm-hmm. That oldest child kind of figured it out because that's how she came up, you know, like with, with her down payment for her car. Um, and she has had a credit card for a couple of years. She pays her credit card bill. You know what I mean? So she was able to get her financing and she got financing through Capital One. Um, so she was able to get financed. She was looking at, you know, like little eight thousand dollar cars. You know what I mean? Like she was, she she was trying to do that and walked in there and got a twenty eighteen with a mm-hmm. with a really good note and a really good interest rate. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's because we have these conversations. Mm-hmm. And we can't afford not to. Like we, it's 
it's already hard enough for us to succeed in anything as is. So then you add bad credit, mm -hmm. you know, then you, you add, um, miseducation, um, because college ain't for everybody. Right. So right. we're not going down that road. Um, but you have to do something mm -hmm. and there is some type of learning that is attached to whatever it is that you decide to do. So we have to naturally, arm our children and, you know, like equip them with the bare minimums, which are actually above and beyond, right. you know, what everybody else has to do. Cause we, we already start out 20 miles behind the eight miles. Yes, yes, yes. So. Yes. And no yeah. gas. No gas. Like, like no gas, no, no gas money. Your tires are flat. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, we're re we're resilient, and we and we make it happen. So it is what it is. Cause I know my I know my kids. I I I, I get them used to, cause they they they're mixed, so I get them used to it. Even my oldest daughter, um, I get them used to hearing the word no. Oh, absolutely. Because sometimes, like you know how sometimes you get some of these celebrities, they're so you in their heyday. Everyone caters to them. You can get this and that third, but the moment they fall off, you're not as popping as you was. Yeah. And then once you hear the word no, it's foreign to you because you know. So from there, I was like, I want you guys to get used to whether you, you know, whether it's my boy, <clears throat> whether it's the girl, whatever the case is, I want you to get used to hearing the word no. And I want you to be able to take it, okay. And take it because some people can't. Oh, absolutely. Were no, so yeah. Everybody's so used to yes, 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 yes. No, Rejection is real. Right. Yeah, trust me. Because I went to high school. Yeah, it's just, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know about it from that <laughs> standpoint. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've been, yes. I, I've had my fair share of yes. no's yes, in yes. life, so I do no. support. No, like, <laughs> I support <laughs> you teaching. Do you like me? <laughs> Check the box. No. What? What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's that's what's that's what's you know, we we you know, some of us like cause a lot of us if you have a decent job or you're doing something that you love, I don't be looking for for, for tax return to come around, to be honest. Mm -hmm. When when Ain't when no money you, coming no more. When that, you're that doing what you now. love and and and, and 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 you also making a decent living, like to, oh, yeah. just just another you know, it's just another payday for you, you know what I'm saying? It's just an extra payday for you. I don't look for it, I'm just kinda cause Good. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to get me some bricks because I don't get returns no more. <laughs> I'd be happy if I break even. Right. Um, that's that's where we are around here. You know, because they don't tell you that part of the story either. Mm -hmm. The more you make, the more they, like, yeah, the better yeah, you the actually money. do in life. Ain't no earned income credit and mm -hmm. child tax credit no. and no. I looked at my dog on check. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even wear glasses. <laughs> Sandra, where my glasses? You can read this <laughs> too. We're gonna read this together. Read it out loud. And I'm reading, and let's just say I'm gonna just pick on pick, pick out numbers. The check is two thousand dollars. Right? Ooh, it makes me sad. Two thousand dollars. And then it starts breaking down. And you just see all you see You see your money going everywhere but in your pocket. It's like an invisible, it's like up here, you see two thousand, you just see <laughs> subtract, subtract, subtract. <laughs> By the time you get to your net pay, that mug is thirteen hundred. What? He's like, what happened? Wait. What happened? Hold on. In less than five seconds, I have lost, I have lost seven hundred dollars in less than five seconds, and it takes you. You just kind of like. Yeah, I had to have my daughter cracking up yesterday. I was, I was sitting there doing the bills mm -hmm. for the rest of the month. You know, like I'm getting ready um, for all my 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 little events, and then my 40th birthday is coming. So yes, like, I, I I've been preparing for all of that. I'm like, whoo. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I'm gonna enjoy myself. Yes, y'all. She, she she does have a birthday coming up. Yes. Yeah, we, we go slide. Yeah, we go, go slide, slide. And, 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 and show you some of. We definitely go slide. Okay, so tell everyone because um, I don't want to get too far. So tell everyone what you got coming for the for for the year because y'all she got some exciting exciting stuff coming and I cannot. I personally I cannot wait. So. Um, February 22nd, we are doing, um, a career tips and topic event. It's something I just made up. Um, but it seemed like Black History Month was a good time to do this, especially since, um, it's for us 
all mm. of our panelists look like us. Right, right, right. Um, so they will be engaging us. But um, on February 22nd, we are um, hosting um, career tips and topics in regards to um, college, trades, military, and other. Mm -hmm. um, because I want us to understand that college is not the only option. Um, because I want us to um, stop leaving money on the table. Right. And I want us to stop feeling like we're failing when we don't opt to go, you know, into college or into the military. Like, there are other options right. out there. So, on our panel, we'll have people speaking about the trades. We'll have people speaking about the military. We'll have people speaking about college, of course. Um, we have someone speaking about real estate. We have someone um, that was an RN that transitioned into truck driving. Like, right. so, we've, um, I've been very thoughtful full in putting this panel together um, because I I want us to have these real conversations. It'll be like a round table style, so we'll be sitting in a circle so it's not a feeling of you know, they're sitting up there, we're down here type thing. No, right. like we're going to sit in a circle and we are going to have thanks Eric, um, we are going to have great conversation around the realities with what's next. So that's on February 22nd then um February 29th, we are going to do same style, different concept, um, because um, racism is very much alive and well, um, right, right. and it's closeted, especially in um, the corporate space. So I'm pulling together uh, HR um, personnel and uh, hiring managers so that we can have candid conversations. Um, you know, all those questions you want to ask someone in, in uh, HR or someone that's doing hiring that you can't ask in an interview, right, right. we'll have those conversations. <laughs> so when you see my hair, what do you think? When you see my name on a resume, like, what's your first thought? Um, why am I really not getting hired? You know, like, all, all of those questions, we're going to have the opportunity to, to do that. So that's February. Right. Um, May 2nd, we are doing a, um, I, I'm just going to panel y'all to death this year, but um, <laughs> but good. May 2nd, we are doing a um, career and resource fair that focuses on um, placement agencies, and then we are introducing financial literacy. So it will be a career fair that will also offer panels, too, on those two topics, because I want to debunk the myths around um, placement agencies. We, and I mean we, right. um, do not understand how important placement agencies are, especially when we have barriers to employment. Mm -hmm. They can get you in the doors of companies you could not get in on your own, um, pass background checks. Drug test is a little bit of a different story depending mm -hmm. on what you're doing, but for, for the most part, they can help you to build, um, you know, the resume that you need, um, they can help you figure out what it is that you want to do with the rest of your life. Um, if you don't have an idea, like there's a lot of opportunity there and we don't take advantage of those. And I'm tying a financial literacy portion to it because we jag our money. Right, right. So I need us to start having conversations with credit unions, banks, um, uh, wealth managers, things along those lines, so that we understand how our money can work for us. And it doesn't matter if you make $5 an hour or $987,000 an hour, but you can start saving and you can start being responsible with your money. So that's May 2nd. Okay. Um, May 8th, we are kicking off the Mother's Day uh, season. So that's a Friday, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm doing a fundraiser. Uh, event for my annual event, which I'll tell y'all about in a minute. But so that's the first fundraiser. It's um martinis and mixology. Okay. So we'll be teaching you guys how to um make four different types of martinis. Um, real intimate, little sexy space, you know that type of thing. And that's the Friday before Mother's Day. Do -do 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 -do. July. Oh my God, I'm so proud of me. I remember all yes, of these things. Definitely. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. um. July is going to be a bit of a more serious event. I'm, I'm not going to say too, too much about it because I'm still working on getting the funding for it. But yeah. the plan is uh, to be able to address the mother-daughter relationship right. um, with all of the missing young ladies, um, the deaths behind the domestic violence, which means we're making bad choices in relationships, um, and the sex trafficking. I'm thinking that we kind of need to get to the heart of the matter and start repairing relationships in the home. Right. So this event, I have a dynamic panel lined up, all therapists um, that sit in different spaces, and um, two of which have some stories to tell. Right. Um, we're going to do 
a um, panel first. So we're going to spend that time having conversation about the whole mother-daughter thing. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to learn how to cook. So we're going to move from conversation to culinary. I just made that up. I didn't even think about that. I might have to change the title. Yeah, I I, I might have to change that title. Um, (laughs) But um, so... We're gonna have the conversation, and we're gonna deal with the um, the the mental health, the emotional health, and the wellness aspect there. And then we're gonna transition and learn a life skill, because okay. we don't learn how to cook anymore. No, 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 no. So um, we are going to ha- uh, have an official culinary session private chef coming in teaching us how to take one dish and turn it into three so that also helps with meal prep for the week um and then we're going to sit down and we're going to eat together and we just kind of we're going to kind of um debrief Mm -hmm. and you know like come back together so technically that event is a fundraiser however like i said i'm working on something for that i want to i want to be able to sponsor um, the seven pairs of moms and daughters that um that that come through, so it's kind of more to come in, in regards to that. But we're just gonna keep calling it a fundraiser for now, cause then yeah. it ties into my annual event, right. um, which is October tenth. So that's Mother's Day, isn't just in May. My annual event um is a fundraiser where we give a thousand dollar scholarship to a single mom, uh, trade school. So you're trained here, mm-hmm. um, and we um we uh. We know that typically for Mother's Day, like, we're always doing the planning, so right. we don't necessarily get to enjoy it. So in October, it, it's it's all about us. So mm-hmm. um, we're going to do a, a limited seating, um, sip and paint, two different sessions of that. Um, there will be a bedroom by candy demo, like, for the people who are into all of that. Um, so that vendor will be available. And then every vendor in that building, the DJ, um, the host, all of the different vendors that'll be there are all women, and in more cases, mompreneurs. So it's just, it's just a day, like um, a couple of hours, completely dedicated to, to us. And it is a ticketed event. Um, twenty five percent of each ticket sale goes towards the um, the scholarship for the young lady. So on radio, we be there, y'all. Oh, I forgot one thing. <laughs> I did forget one thing. And yes, Fluent Radio will be in the building. Well, um, actually, it's not the only event we'll be, we'll, we'll be there for for Catherine. But cause because there's actually three, yes. both career fairs. The mm-hmm. second one I did not mention in September. So mm-hmm. the first career fair with the um, with, with the placement agencies will be south. Mm-hmm. And then we're coming west. Okay. So when we come west, we're going to um, focus on the service sector. So those entities that... Um, will hire without stringent background checks. Um, we're focusing on them. And we will, again, do the financial literacy um, panel and, and piece, too. So May and September, we're doing career fairs. Next month, we're doing all of the um, the uh, the careers tips and topics. And then um, we have the, the random social and healing events sprinkled right. in in the midst of all of that. Definitely, yeah, you got you a busy. I, I know we're going to be at the, the October tenth one, and yeah. then the career I think we'll fairs. Be a, we'll be in yep. a few of them. Yep. We'll be in a few of them. So yeah, and we, I, I think it could be interviews. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. We we definitely partner in and 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 getting that awareness out um, with everything. And um, what time is it? Okay. Ah! What else? <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, let's go somewhere else. This time flies. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's just a long conversation. It's just that's, that's that's all it is. Um, so what do you? What are the key components of having a successful relationship between a man and? Why do I keep getting these relationship questions? <laughs> like, what is, what is happening? <laughs> Uh-huh. Why do I keep see. getting this no, relationship no, no, no. question? Let me see you being for MC. Oh my goodness. Um, so this should be easy, right? So uh-huh. first, everything that you saw that didn't work, don't do it. <laughs> so, you know, cheating, domestic violence, lying, stealing drug problems, all that simple stuff, like, uh just <laughs> don't do it, right? You know, selfishness, I mean, did weird um fetishes, like all those things yeah. just stay away from them. Can you can can you bounce back in a relationship from T? Do you think so? Oh, I don't know. That's a deal breaker for me. Uh, no, 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 no. No, you gotta go. Like we can't. There, no, there ain't go, nothing man. to talk about because go, um, 
I take loyalty very, very seriously. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can't make me understand how that just happened. Mm -hmm. So, but I have choice. seen people do it. Like I've seen people come. Like again, it's kind of like that. Would you ever propose to a man? Type thing. Every situation is different. Right. Yeah, it's 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 it. That is a um. I don't see if I. You first, might as well change the subject. <laughs> you, have to, you have to no, because because I agree with you. Because ain't nothing to talk about. Because 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 if you've made a if you've made a conscious choice, don't give me that I was drunk. It's a conscious don't, don't, choice. Don't absolutely. That, yep. Don't give me that we had an argument and then I I called somebody and and we went out to have a drink. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of it because it's all conscious. It's a conscious, like, like, just like you, just, no. There's nothing to talk about, you know what I'm saying? I think there's a few deal breakers for me. Don't lie to me. Okay, so let's unpack that one. Because, <laughs> yeah, um, unpack, yeah, 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 let's unpack no, that one. Don't lie to me. Because I hate to be the one to say it, but as a parent, like, I lied to my kids a whole bunch of times. Yeah, yeah. And in my mind, it was for their good. Sometimes you feel like that when you, you know, like if I know um, that, you know, there's a bill that you can't necessarily afford to pay or something along those lines, I might not necessarily tell you about it because I know it's going to stress you out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. you, 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 you okay. see what I'm saying? Okay. So it depends. Like it. It's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. It depends on what, like. Because sometimes certain things, it, 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 it's, it's less about the lie and more about the cover-up. So sometimes, okay. sometimes... Touche. It, 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 Touche. You know, it, 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 it's different. Now, yeah. if it's something in the midst of, I knew you was honey, I knew you was stressed, I didn't tell you about it, I know it has gotten out of hand now, I, I didn't tell you about it because I knew you were stressed, but that's one thing, because that can be talked about, da, da, da. But with, like, the, it's the, a, it's the willful it's deception. The, it's a, yeah, because... <laughs> Certain things, like, it's like, it's like, because now you just kind of playing on my intelligence. Now you think I'm stupid. Yeah. Nah, nah. Nah, fam. It I definitely think. depends. It depends. It definitely de depends on what it is. It's a, it's a, like I said, it's a slippery slope, though, because you can't pull that too many times. Like, you can't, like. But see, like, this topic brings up the the whole um, misnomer and in, in, um, operating in absolutes. Because mm -hmm. we're really quick to be like. Don't ever, right? Mm -hmm. However, I promise you, with the exception of cheating, um, mm -hmm. that there is something that I can come up with that would make you second guess your feelings about saying you better not ever do this thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's 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 caveats to everything. Um, ideally, it boils down to respect and communication. Right. Um, because if you respect each other. I believe you can have a conversation about absolutely anything. Yes. And then yes. from there, it just kind of is what it is. Exactly. Because me personally, like, because <clears throat> I, I even put my relationship out there. Me and Sandra talk about everything. Like, if we we so dope. Oh, we so dope. We be like, uh, like she has all my, my, my passwords and stuff. I ain't that doing it. She has my passwords to everything. I, I think the I saw that for on the post. Reason for it, reason for it is because... It takes away all of that. Like it takes away wondering. It takes away, man. Who? who it takes away all that. Not that she, she she'll never do nothing like that, but it takes away all that doubt. It takes away everything. That's a conversation we don't even have to have. We don't have to have it no yeah. way. Because if you rock with me, you are gonna trust me. That's true. So at the end of the That's day, true. I ain't giving you nothing, but, and I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm but, just not giving you nothing. Right, right. Reason, <laughs> I'm reason just not doing it. it. <laughs> she, she, she'll tell me in her heartbeat. She'll she'll say, "I don't want really to count no way." Okay. But but she knows that that option is the option is there. Now as far as like like I said, it's it's sometimes it's just kind of like the if you have if you have a relationship where y'all talk about everything and that door is open, there shouldn't be anything to lie about. No, I agree with that. You know, if, if you have a like, I'm not gonna say open door positive, that don't sound like Target. Open door policy. <laughs> <laughs> then when I open the door and try to talk about something, now you want like, to try no, to kick me out. No, you're no, trying to no, write me up. No, no. Mm -mm. We have, like I said, we have that thing that we can talk about anything. And, and I've always thought, I said, just, just don't lie to me because you don't have to. You know, you don't have to lie. You know, none of that stuff. Like, and she says the same thing to me. Like, you don't have to lie to me about nothing because you got everything. You know everything. Da, 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 you ain't gonna, 
all that stuff. Because I enjoy talking about past stuff. I, I need to know. I, I, I'm on need to know basis. I, I need to know. Like, I tell, like, 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 all the time, I was like, it's like, you know, because you never, because it's always awkward because we talk about exes too. Mm-hmm. And I tell her, I said, you know, tell me about everybody so that I know I don't want to be in the store. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be store. I don't want to be so because sometimes you have exes that y'all didn't end it bad. Y'all didn't end bad. Mm-hmm. It just didn't work out. I need to know him. I don't need to know him, he but I need, to, I know need him. to know him. I need to know because like we we in Walmart buying some chicken. Sandra on here somewhere. Yeah, like, she is. She, yeah, she, 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 tell you. she watching one of these lives. <laughs> yeah, like she, she, she listening. She on here somewhere. She will tell you. And you know I don't want to be. I tell everybody like every female that I I, I, I talk to entertained. Who stank? Everything she knows. You in the stank? Because I remember <laughs> you mentioning this. Stank. Stank. So, so I anyway, <laughs> so I said, I just want to know if you know we go into Walmart, Target, uh, flea market, whatever, and you, hey, what's up, Sandra? Uh huh. What's that? I think I'm just made different because <laughs> well, I don't care because about I, I nothing. I just want to know because because what happens is unless it's still happening. Or, c- 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 <laughs> because what happens is like this is what we're experiencing now. Mm. Okay. When we first, you know, when, when stuff starts start happening for Fluent Radio. Everybody start coming out the woodwork? Now everybody is starting to come out. <laughs> hey, big head. No. <laughs> not with the <laughs> hey, big head. Uh-uh. <laughs> not knowing, like, not knowing, like, no, no. I, re- <laughs> I run people's lives for a living. So, so, no, we ain't doing all that hey, big head stuff. Not saying it's her and then all that because... But they come out the woodwork. Oh, absolutely. You know that. But that's with anything. Like, you know, every new level is new devils. And the best way to trip you up is to bring your past. With mm-hmm. the triggers, you don't, you ain't just start having all of the drama that you're having just because it came full circle because of the fact that this is the thing that will keep you from being able to progress to the next level. Mm-hmm. How you handle it is going to determine your level of success. Right. It's the same thing with the hey big heads. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like these people, there are people that are put in your lives to to do nothing but ruin your life. Yes, exactly. Like right. and you are solely here the, to make me miserable. Period. And, I mean, and and the crazy part, and it comes from the whole you know whether it's reminiscing. Significant exes in my life are friends with me on Facebook. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, see, you dope like that. See, they know ain't nothing happening. Like, I mean, and in in, in most cases, these are people I grew up with. So we were friends before, Mm -hmm. you know, the relationship ended for whatever reason. These folks married in new relationships. I'm doing me like everybody good. I can't speak for them. I'm fine, though. So we (laughs) going like we are moving forward. So you you just got to know. You know what I mean? Like you, you. It is what it is. <laughs> right, right. It, it, and you see, it, it's, it's, it's different from everybody that's in, or, you know, in the relationship. It's, it's different for everybody because, cause like I said, we ain't got it. We good. Yeah. Like, like, and like, that's all that so matters. Good. Like, 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 we so good. You know, it, it it's just funny how it happens. Like, it happens just like I just said. It happens just like that. Oh, hey. Hey, my bad. I didn't get back at you six years ago. <laughs> what you say six years ago? I got caught up. You know, I got married. I had a couple of kids. Then got divorced. <laughs> then got divorced. And then, and, you know, I was, admit, Been I was jail. intending on calling you. But, I was intending on calling you. But, but I lost that phone. Yeah, yeah. It I lost that phone. phone that I, I, lost. I got a new number. And I then, found you on I'm, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I found you on Facebook. Yeah. And I said, like, oh, you, man, I know. You still look good. good. Yeah, yes, I'm, this is. What's going on, shorty? <laughs> Did you keep scrolling through the pictures? Mm-hmm. You, you see all this family? Like, all that? Ninja, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. It's a, yeah, exactly. You tried it. Like you, you, you don't see that, that that piece of chocolate that's sitting up in that in that picture. Oh, okay. You know, or it, 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 even it, it, even be in my case, it, it start. I get the ha, h i, and you know some some dudes be like, oh hey how you doing? I get that. I get the ha. <laughs> Hi. And I'm like, I was like, okay. They don't just give you the wave. I, I look, I look up. It's <laughs> you don't crazy. Just get the wave. That's y'all. That's y'all. And I look up, I look up at God, and I be like, this is a test to see if I'm still. As stupid. long as you know, as long as you know. To see if I'm still stupid. Because I think Sandra will kill you. 
Hey, she already, she already threatened to like, cause she has a, a, a jeep. She's already said uh, uh, she would hit me with and drag she, you she's behind very, it. She's very, you know. <laughs> you can't on, see on, his on, face. She's, 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 she's very, um, um, what's the word? Aggressive. She, 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 she says she, what's the word? Um, she didn't say mutilate. She says something else. Mutilate yeah, sounds castrate. not even castrate. It wasn't even castrate. It was, it was something else. She's like, like disfigurement. Mm-hmm. And when you when you say those words, it's hard to say and then hard to imagine. So you imagine it happening. Mm, so I'm mm, good. Mm, 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 Disfigure, mm, mutilate. Mm, 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 I'd rather mm, hear mm, kill. I'd rather hear that. Simple. Mm, mm, but it's straight to the point. Yeah. But mutilate, that's that's like that's torture time. me. That's that, time. That, that's mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's saw time. Mm-hmm. It's that that type of time, like like mm-hmm. jigsaw stuff, you know. But yeah, but um, so tell everybody where they can where they can find you. On social media. I just checked that out on what y'all had. Tell everybody where they can find you on social media and everything. So on um on on Facebook, I am um, Catherine McNeil, author, speaker, coach, um, and then CHBM Services or uh, SMM PCEINC. On Instagram, I am at a mother's love thirty one days. Um, on LinkedIn, I'm Catherine McNeil. Um, I think that might be where I am. But if you just go to my website, then you can find everything else. So it's www.chbmservices.com or www.smnpcinc. Whew, that's a lot of letters. Dot com uh, or no, it's not dot com. It's dot org. It's a difference. Um, then you can get the links to all of my social media. Pages. I think I got you on everything except LinkedIn. Probably we, we just we just like started our LinkedIn. So I love LinkedIn. LinkedIn, LinkedIn is, is great. like it's like the it's like the next Facebook, just business, yeah. all business. Yeah. And if so, you leverage it correctly, you will find a job. Yes, you? job or like connections. connections. Like it's, we didn't we didn't we didn't. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. Yeah, because I think every day someone like it's like you're connected with this person. Start a conversation. Da, 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 da. Yep. And then you, you look and see what the person is. Oh, this person's in this. Oh, this person is an investor. You, it's all this stuff on there, and, and it breaks it down, and it's it, it's crazy. And y'all already know you can find me at you know Miss Tough Fluid on uh, both Facebook and um, Fluent Radio on Facebook, Fluent Radio on. Um, LinkedIn as well as uh, IG, um, and as far as it, 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 if you're still having trouble finding uh, Miss Catherine, you can always go on my page of Sandra's, and I'm, I'm sure <laughs> you are going to see something that was shared. You're gonna see something that she's like because, like, yeah, we've been family since day one. So, um, yeah. So I would like to thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for having me and chopping it up with me again. This hour goes by so fast. Yeah, it goes by so fast. <laughs> it goes by so fast. And then when I look, get a two-hour show, I'm like, okay, now what are we going to talk about the next hour? <laughs> we just going to sit here and breathe. <laughs> for real. Uh, thank everyone for tuning in here to Fluent Radio. Real appreciate it. Uh, we will be on next week again at 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Chopping up again, talking about stuff people don't normally talk about. And I will have some different shades on. <laughs> I know the numbers, you know, and, and, and then we'll just go from there. Thank you everyone so much. Be safe, and I will holler at you. Peace.